welcome to our uh, marine knowledge channel this is your uh, sailor basha so again this video is also a continuation of our daihatsu generator decal video so in this video i will try to show how to take uh, cylinder liner calibration so what are all the position that we need to take so okay i'll go inside the video so now we are going to take the liner calibration so we need to take uh, two positions like port starboard and forward aft so this is the tool that we need to use for taking calibration that means uh, the tool hole indicates the uh, gap height between each readings so you can uh, take the reading from top side so use the cylinder bore gauge for uh, taking the reading so now i use the cylinder bore gauge on the top position that is forward and aft so this cylinder bore gauge should be um, used properly like uh, it's a precise tool so that uh, you can analyze uh, the wear rate of liner by getting the values from this bore gauge so the usage of this uh, tool should be precise so i had given a link uh, on the description about how to use a bore gauge please uh, find that link and you can uh, read and can able to understand how to use a cylinder bore gauge so whatever reading we take we have to record in the graph so that uh, you can finally uh, make out how much wear has been uh, achieved like uh, the wear rate of uh, medium speed liner like is it this is a medium speed uh, engine so the wear rate for this liner should be uh, below 0 0.015 mm per thousand hours so that is uh, acceptable it should not be more than that and once uh, the liner reaches uh, approximately 0 0.1 0 0.8 to 1 percentage of the liner diameter then the liner should be renewed that is the thumb rule so the next second reading i had taken for uh, forward and aft so next i am going to take the third reading so the third reading will be on the bottom side so always uh, try to tie a rope on the cylinder bore gauge so that uh, even if the gauge get slipped out it will be still in our control it don't fall down the crankcase so this is the third reading i am taking okay so just uh, fix it and tighten it and bring the gauge up and then you can check the reading so that means you have to take totally eight readings that uh, forward and aft will be four reading and port starboard will be four reading so you have to take total eight readings for your calibration so next i'm going to go for the last which is the bottom bottom end of the liner so always uh, set to zero say if the bore is 290 set to 290 and then uh, you can easily make out the wear rate exactly so 290 plus whichever uh, you are getting that will be your reading so now i'm taking for the final last uh, reading so that's all you just need to fix like this so that means your uh, gauge is properly fitted and now you can take out the bore gauge out so out and take the reading so this is the last reading see it fall down but still it didn't uh, went down the crankcase so okay this is the last reading i took for the forward and aft so next will be for port starboard this is done and next will be for the port starboard so again port starboard for reading i have to take the same procedure you have to follow 
always set the bore gauge to zero that is uh, the exact value the this particular uh, cylinder liner have a bore of uh, 315 so i fix 315 and set it to zero and then i can increase the reading whichever we are getting so okay so i took the reading so first reading is done and then i go for the second reading first reading so next i go for the second reading again uh, for the second reading set down to zero fix it okay once it is fixed note it down so two more reading left for uh, port starboard so again i am fixing it uh, for taking the third reading so that uh, this kind of uh, uh, readings will allow you to uh, have an idea about how much wear is happening in your cylinder liner for every thousand hours okay now I am going to take the reading for the last this is the fourth parameter that is the last bottom most reading for the cylinder liner yeah see you can see now the uh, bore gauge got slipped huh? but the, since I tied this with a rope it is still under control it's not fallen down so that's all the last reading was already in place so i took total eight reading so this is how you have to take a cylinder liner wear measurement so i believe uh, in this video you must have got some idea about how to take cylinder liner measurement okay our job is done so after watching this video you must have got uh, some idea about uh, how to take uh, cylinder liner calibration for generators so if you have any doubt please put in comment box or whatsapp me i will definitely reply you uh, don't skip the video so that uh, you don't miss any important things which I say during the video session that may be helpful for your uh, job and also for orals okay keep supporting thanks for watching